Well, hello again from Kingston. I think you can probably tell from the colours surrounding me that we're now getting well into the fall. Work's going well on the bridge. Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend, so we have Monday off. But if you want to know what happened last week, with a look ahead and some wildlife, including a fishing heron, then stay tuned and I'll catch you at the end. Thanks for watching. We'll examine this week by themes, and the first theme is the waterproofing conducted by Black Rose. They made really good progress this week. Dry, settled conditions were clearly a big help. By Tuesday, with two spans behind them, they were edging onto the steel expanse. It takes a constant effort to supply the boilers that heat and prepare the sealant that underlies the tiles. But movement along the spans has been steady. With the clearest evidence of progress on every day this week. By Friday, the application of primer was approaching the previously laid spans on the west side. The arrival of new trees from Conan Nurseries on Monday marked a new phase in the engagement of sharp landscaping on the west end. Delivery details and inventory had to be checked. And sighting of the new trees confirmed. Once in place, the new young trees had to be provided with water bags and then staked firmly in position. Throughout the week, there was a steady effort to lay the topsoil that was required in the ditches and other areas on the west end. This means loading and shuttling a lot of topsoil throughout the week. To keep the excavator spreading it busy. But by the weekend, steady progress was clear. Topsoil would feature heavily in another aspect of the project this week. It could be seen awaiting use as Barr completed preparation of the holding pond. The pond was shaping up nicely as early as Tuesday. Before very long, the fine gravel that would underlie the liner was being applied. Levels were checked and rechecked, and on Wednesday the first liner was laid. The whole operation was a pretty slick performance. With the first layers of liner in place, no time was lost in placing topsoil to secure it. Whilst work continued to prepare the next section of the pond for liner. The use of mechanical handling equipment is all well and good, but sometimes it just takes a seasoned hand to repair the damage it does. With all the necessary checks effected regularly, work continued steadily throughout Thursday. Leading to this excellent situation by the end of the day on Friday. It was at least interesting on Monday to see a barge approach the bridge. But it quickly became evident that the water was too shallow for operation. And it wasn't very long before it headed back downriver. It would make a return on Wednesday, spending some limited time working beneath span 17. But the real workhorses in that area 
are the two excavators that have been steadily removing gravel from the temporary causeway. And they have been serviced by a steady stream of trucks coming and going every day this week. There's evidence of finishing work across the site. From form removal in the west to pressure washing of the piers. Much time and effort still goes into removing the temporary brackets from the sides of the bridge. There's a lot of work to be done on the north side too, removing forms from the various diaphragms. And there still remain areas from which the temporary walkway has to be removed. Although it has been used, I've yet to catch the Genic machine in action. But I did observe an interesting discussion on best use and best practice this week. There have been a couple of notable departures this week. On Wednesday, the compressor that drove the vibrating hammer was loaded and shipped from the site. And on Friday, yet another crew trailer departed. And we'll go to wildlife this week with a nod to the quiet professionals from Black and MacDonald who work steadily to install and maintain all the lighting and signals that will serve the bridge and its approaches. Well, that's another busy week behind us and uh, you can see the landscaping work has been quite intense this week and no doubt they'll be back great deal of work still to do on the east end if you have a moment leave a comment or suggestion in the description below otherwise i'll see you next week for the next update thanks for watching again bye for now <laughs>